What's up lads, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about rival rewards, uh, foot jump rewards, and I wanna to talk to you guys about why I just don't think that they are what they should be and what I think's wrong with rewards in general. Now, this is not a rant video. This is more of constructive criticism and I want you guys to get involved in the conversation. Leave your opinions down below. I want to see all the comments. I want to see you guys tweeting me. You know, get involved in this conversation. I want to hear your feedback. I want you to voice your opinions and I want this video to just act as something that EA can, can see and understand a point of view from because... There's a lot of changes that need to be made. I'm not going to lie. We're on Simon's account. Simon is a fantastic FIFA player. He is incredible. He is in Div 2 at the minute. However, pushing for Div 1. I think he's almost at the ELO for Div 1. If not already there, he's just not pushed into there. He will at the end of the week. However, he doesn't really play a whole lot of rivals. But this is a prime example of what is wrong with rivals already. Division 2, rank 1 rewards. If you, We're only going to look at untradeables for now. Because... You know, that's really like that. That's the best way. If we keep this a fair and level test by only looking at uh, untradeables, then all medians are uh, they're all fair, all right? Every, every, every variable is fair. We're not changing any variable here. So, the rewards for getting rank one in Division Two is two rare mega packs, two mega packs, and four rare mixed players packs. However, to get rank three, you get four rare players packs and two mega packs. That is way better. I don't like. I don't know if you guys like. Okay, maybe coin value wise, this has more of a coin a coin value. You know, two fifty five k's and two thirty five k's already is one hundred eighty thousand coins plus whatever the value of a rare mixed players pack is. But a rare mixed players pack gives you three gold, three bronze, and three silver. That is ridiculous. I think it's three or four. Maybe it's four. Maybe it's four gold, silver, and bronze. However, that is ridiculous. Whereas four rare gold players packs. <laughs> they give you 48 rare gold players and 50, they're 50k bucks by the way and they're a whole lot better and it makes no sense for people why would people want to grind to get rank one when they can literally play only foot champs and get rank three and then we look at <laughs> rank two is a joke two 15k packs and six mega packs although it's great to open six mega packs it's not worth it a lot of people and i think that honestly it's it, i don't blame anybody for this would happily just go play foot champs, get the 12,000 points you get for foot champs and stay in rank three and get four 50k packs and two mega packs. It's way better of a reward and it makes no sense at all for why would people try and grind to get rank one when the rewards are better. Now, if we look at this, I personally think what the case should be is it should be two rare mega packs, two 50k packs and four rare mixed players packs. That would be way more worth it. I don't understand why you'd have two different variations of mega pack in your reward system. And then if we look at this, six rare mega packs would be way more worth it than six mega packs or even four rare mega packs. We're looking at the second highest division here with the second highest ELO rating. The people in this division are elite three or above players every single weekend league. They are incredible players and they should be rewarded for that. But instead, if we look at something like rank five rewards, for example, rank five rewards are so much better. Now, I do have like a table. I don't know 100% how accurate this table is, but I will show you guys this table. Now, this table, I think is 100% correct, but it, I might be wrong. It might not be 100% correct. Uh, it's definitely correct when it comes to division two and division four and division five. The problem here is that division five for rank one gives you four 15k packs, two 50k packs, and two mega packs. Whereas rank one in, for example, division two, gives you two mega packs, four rare mixed players back in two rare uh, two rare mega packs. It, to me, makes no sense. And yes, they've added on, the thing is they've added on the two rare player pack, uh, two rare mixed, uh, no, not, two rare mega packs. The 255k's, they added those on before those weren't even a part of the reward. And it's still not worth it, in my opinion. This, is, Like I said, this is not a rant. This is, I think they should really work on that. Because if we look at division six rewards, rank one is two prime gold players packs, two mega packs and two rare gold packs, arguably better. If we look at division four, for example, you get two 45s, two 50s and two mega packs. Why would anybody in division four want to waste their time getting onto division two, get harder games, struggle more, you know, be stressed out more for worse rewards than to just stay in Division 4, have an easy time, breeze opponents. Now, there is that case of people want to get better at the game, but also, I don't get that. I don't understand that mentality because a lot of people on this game only care about rewards and coins. And this system is broken if, if you're going to reward better players less than worse players. I get maybe longevity-wise, you know, Better rewards keeps people playing for a longer time, but the good plays are 
you know, bound to get upset, and I completely understand why they would. I completely understand why anybody would not appreciate getting rewarded poorly. Now, you know, Division 1 is good rewards. Two Ultimate Packs and two Mega Packs, in my opinion, is pretty decent. Uh, Division 3 rank, uh, Division 1 rank 3, sorry, two Rare Players Packs and two Mega Packs is pretty much the same as all the other lower divisions. It's only rank 2 and rank 1 that is fair, in my opinion. And even rank 2 is a little bit borderline. Um, you know, Two Ultimate Packs is great. That is fantastic. But two Rare Player Packs and two Mega Packs, you literally get better rewards for getting Rank 1 in Division 4. <laughs> I don't understand the... Me like, I personally don't understand the logic behind that. And that is why I wanted to make this video. I think that you should really be giving people a lot better rewards. In 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 Like I said, this, this table might be incorrect, uh, but I'm pretty sure like all the other ones are correct. So if you look at Division 1, and you look at the two rare megas and uh, sorry, two rare players and two mega packs. Make it two rare megas and add in an ultimate pack. Maybe it's untradeable, so it has no effect on the market, and it just lets people have more players. That's my opinion, anyway. I want to hear what you guys think. I want to know what division you are, you guys are in, and what rank you push to, because I guarantee a lot of you guys are probably like. I just stay rank 3 because the rewards are good. And that is completely fine. But it shouldn't be like that. EA should be trying to encourage people to go for the higher division, go for the higher rank. Now let's talk about weekend league rewards. Now this is something that I think the whole community feels the same way about. But it's something I want to talk about in this video. So, I brought David Myler's video up as an example. Uh, Dave is a fantastic FIFA player. Uh, he is quality. He... You know, he pushes between 26 and 30 wins every weekend. He's battering pros left, right, and center. I'm always hearing about another pro that he battered like 5-1. He's very, very good at FIFA this year, uh, like he was last year and the year before that. He's fantastic at FIFA, and he got top 100 rewards. Now, that's amazing. I want you to quickly take a look at the three players that he's picked so far. Not only are they terrible for top 100, but just, just remember who they are. We've got Pache Pacheco, Fabian, and Lala. Now... Dave's going to go ahead. I'm going to mute him because I want to talk over it. Uh, Dave's going to go ahead and open his last player pick. Remember those three players. And this is something that uh, I've seen the exact same thing happen to Nick2018. The same thing happened to Nepenthes. The same thing happened to Castro. One, two, three of his already picked players are in his last player pick pack. That is not fair. That is not something that should be in the game. If you've already picked a player, you should not get the option to get him again in a player pick pack. Because what happens when you take the player that you've already got? You have to discard the player. Why on earth is it giving us an option to take a player that we already have in the club? It makes no sense at all. It doesn't even say that they're duplicates underneath. It just shows the exact same player. That is the problem with the the the, the system we've got now with weekend league rewards. Now, I could get into this whole debate about how poor they've been for a lot of people. You know, a lot of people have been shafted in their rewards. They've had awful picks. They've had awful red cards. You know, we saw like a lot of top 100 F2 techs, for example, went 30, you know, like three weekends in a row. You know, he beat Huge Gorilla uh, and he got uh, his 30 you know, rewards. I don't think he got a walkout in his info pack or anything. You know, we could talk about those for a long time. However, I wanted to just talk about this. And I wanted to talk about the huge problem is that you should not be able to get the same player in your player pick packs. If he's picked Lala, it should not be Lala there. Even if it's a lower rated card than Lala, you should not be able to get Lala again in your pick. Same with Pacheco and Fabian. And it's just completely unfair limiting it to two players because that's no longer a five player pick pack. That is a two player pick pack. And that is not what EA are advertising. And it's not fair. It's a terrible system in my opinion. And it's something that should be, you know, fixed. It should be, it should be worked on and it should be fair it should be just something that is rewarding i feel like last year's monthly rewards were way more rewarding of course uh if you guys remember for top 100 monthly rewards you got an icon 44 red informs and i think they were all over the 81 rated uh now of course these are all over 81 rated but there's a chance to get less than 81 rated if we look at my video i got a 79 rated striker and a lot of other people have had exactly the same because there's no rating minimum of these and it just hurts my brain. It really does. It hurts my brain. And it is, it's painful to look at. And it's I, I feel really bad when I look at someone like like Myla, who who I think he went 29-1 and one this weekend. And not only is, is that the only player he packed from it, like th there were his red pick packs. But this is what his Team of the Week pack looks like as well. Now, don't get me wrong. He's got a load of free cards here that he can discard at worst for... Well, how many items he got here? Like 12 he, or 11, he can get like 110,000 coins. And he did manage to pack himself. He got kind of lucky in his rewards. He did manage to pack himself. Where is it? He got a screen Caceres as well, as you guys see here. 
but that's not enough in my opinion. And I know it's one of those things like, can you argue if something's enough or not? I don't know. However, I feel strongly about the red informs not being able to pack duplicates here. I think this is just completely unfair and I think that is something that should be worked on. Uh, I could show you a ton of different videos. I wanted to use Dave's example because Dave was talking about this the other night. Um, and I wanted to use him an example here because I think this is so unfair for 29 and 1. For someone that is, you know, that top 0.5% player, maybe even 0.1% player in the world at FIFA getting these kind of rewards and getting the same player. Not even that, like a gold one player should not ha have to limit their four player pick to a one or two players because they've already picked somebody, you know? Like I should not have to worry about getting the same player again. One of my main worries... So we've got my video here. One of my main worries here, and I'll show you guys what I, what was going through my head when I opened the red player pick. We're going to skip there to the actual red player pick here. I want to show you guys what was going through my head. Here I get Fabian and Facino. Now, I was looking at these two cards, and the thing that was going through my head was, if I pick this guy, will I get him again? If I pick Fabian, will I get him again? Now, the reason that I was thinking that is because the one I wanted the most there was Facino. I thought he looked really good as a card, and I wanted to pick him. However... I thought that if I'd have picked Vicino, I might just get him again and not get Fabian or vice versa. And I wanted Fabian as well because he's 84 rated. Now, my problem became a reality. If we go and have a look at my red player pick then, my second pick was red Vicino again. Why? Why on earth did I get him again? It doesn't make sense to me because I did already pick him. Uh, if I quickly show you guys who I pick... Here, Red Pacino, and I go and get him again. It's so unfair on any player. It's no point wasting their entire weekend to get the same plays over and over. That's just my opinion, and I want to hear what you guys think. Again, not a rant, just something I feel like needs to be said, because, you know, I'm not a game changer. I hope that the game changers have a direct line of communication, and I believe that they are bringing all of these uh, uh, queries to EA. I just want my opinion to be heard, and I want more people to be able to have this direct line with EA and I want you know EA to understand where they're going wrong with certain things so I wanted to make this video hopefully you guys did enjoy let me know what you think down below as well I want to hear your feedback I want to hear where you're coming from what you think etc etc uh, I appreciate the support on the channel recently as well dude you guys have been absolutely smashing it and I'm very very grateful thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you lads later